Yes, why this your birthday present? You're not meant to look into them yet. Oh, hello. Midna, where's Siri? Siri, you coming over? No, Siri's going to the loo, so we won't won't bother Siri for just yet. But hello everyone, this is gonna be uh the girl's birthday camera, number two birthday cam, I guess. You're not meant to be in there as a present. Scally, why go with your sisters? Siri! Come here, Kelly Ads. That's right. You come over here. That is not a present, but I suppose it is quite fun for a ferret. Don't worry, we've got other tubes for you to play with as well. Okay then, it has been ages since we did our last ferret cam. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of things have happened. I've been taking pictures fairly regularly, so if you've been wondering where the ferrets are, you can always find them on Twitter. And if you're wondering why these presents are wrapped so haphazardly, it's so that the ferrets maybe might be able to get at them themselves this time. There's lots of room for them to dig in and try to uh, unfold them. Though, predictably, they're all going for the, the knitted present that was sent in by uh, by Carly. We'll be covering that one soon though. They've got two new uh, two new little igloo sort of things as well. But uh, first, let me see if I can uh, I can get all the ferrets together so that we can try and open these all at the same time. Okay, easiest way to get a ferret's attention: give them a bit of salmon oil on your hand, and then they they all suddenly quiet and calm for a few moments. Uh, this is going to be a day full of treats for them, so I can't give them too much right now. Get out of your presence, you scallywag! Oh my lord! But I'm going to let them uh, finish eating and chill out a little bit, and then... <laughs> oh my lord! Midna's already fairly happy with one of her presents. And then we're going to uh, see what they've got. We've got lots of presents here, and, 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 and Tally enjoying a funny five seconds. But uh, let's see, can I get some of you to be interested maybe in opening them? I, it was really hard to wrap these badly, you know. It's easy to wrap them well, because you just have to make sure everything's tight. There we go. <laughs> but it's so hard to wrap anything, even remotely well, if you're trying to leave it all loose, I found. Oh, are you coming in? Do you, are you interested in, in what might be inside the, the family thing? No, they're all just, they just want to explore the things they've they got open. It's going to be like last time, isn't it? I'm going to be opening all your presents for you. Ah, oh, you scoundrels. <laughs> Not meant to go up there. Come on in. Let's see. This should get her attention at all. Go on, they're playing. Oh, no. They decided to have a scratch. Now you're playing. <laughs> She's in a funny mood. Sorry that the, the floor is such a mess. Recently got a cat. And, uh, yeah, the cat is furry. I'm told cat does, it's uh, Shelab's sister's cat. And, and she was saying, cat doesn't shed? No, no, it's a really furry cat. The moment I saw how furry, it's like, yeah, no, that sheds. Of course that sheds. We shed. If something is that furry, of course it sheds. But no, no, of course it doesn't shed. Yes, it does. Everywhere. All over the place. Right, okay, so the first present, if I can get their attention at all, is actually a new uh, a new tunnel for them, but it's, it's a fluffy tunnel, so I'm hoping they'll be really, really happy with this one. They like the other ones, so uh, I figured this one would be quite a nice one for them. Uh, let me try and unhook it. There we go. You interested? No. You come to have a look. A little furry tunnel. Ugh. No, everyone, everyone's interested in other things. We'll come back to that one, I think. Okay, you coming over here? No? I think I think Midna's more interested in Lady Sheila. You coming down at all? She just want to be up there with you at the moment, does she see up? Yeah. Okay, well she can stay there then. Well, at least Tally's interested in her birthday gift. Siri, come on in. Oh, what do you think? Is anyone at all even remotely interested? No, it's just it's just a means of transport between A and B. They'll be interested in it just as soon as I'm not recording them. So they always like. Okay, so the next one is something that we picked up a little bit later. Thanks to Lisa, who uh, sent a little bit of a PayPal donation that we could get something for their birthday. Because I still haven't fixed my PO box yet, unfortunately. Let's have a look if I've got the right one. Yes, we do. This is a kitchen treat. I'm going to have to get out of the box and set it up. Basically, thanks for jumping on my camera arm. You uh, set this up and they can you can hide treats in it and then they have to move things around. So I'm hoping they're going to really enjoy this one. So uh, bring you back when I've set it up. Oh, you're already interested in it, are you? I'm glad. Very glad. Lisa will be glad too. Let's see. Now, apparently, there's all sorts of things you can do with it. You, you just stole one of the pieces! You little scallywag! I can't trust Tally for a second! 
Not even a tiny second. I'm in the middle of showing this off, it's fine. That is probably one of the parts that she will get playing with later on. Now apparently, we are meant to do this, and the funny thing about this is it literally, in the things that it's meant for, it lists pretty much every animal except the ferret. Every animal in the universe, even parrots are listed on there. No ferrets though. So, in protest, we're getting this for the ferret. Uh, so, the way you do this one, so you hide treats in the various points, and you just like, this is like the, the intermediate level, you can just push this around, very hard to take it out though, though I'm sure Tally will find a way. And they just have to nudge it out of the way so that they can get the treats that they want. So, super, super, very simple. And the second one, I believe, is you have to place these over stuff and... They have to just li literally lift the bits up. Oh, th this is said to be the intermediate level of, of cleverness. Frankly, we've already seen that Tally finds this easy. So, I think this will just be a momentary distraction before they can carry their treats. I might even try that out on the video. But uh, that is Elise's gift, the teach and treat. Now, uh, that is Tally's second gift. All of the paper and also a little cardboard tunnel. But uh, we will get on to the other ones. So, what we got next? We're gonna be leaving the big things for last. And yes, that is a very big thing. My goodness, you will not believe it when I actually take that out of there. Right, so. Secondly, we have got a cat tunnel, kind of. It, it, I mean, it'll probably also get used with a cat, frankly, which hopefully will bring the ferrets and the cat together a little bit more. But this is this just kind of goes over the radiator. For example, like that one, which I will now set up to demonstrate. Siri tends to like these, so I'm hopeful. Thank you. Whilst Sheila helps with setting up the cat bed, moment of respite for Siri for some more treats. And the other two have joined now. Now, quickly, I wanted to quickly address the fact that Midna's tail is a bit bald at the moment. Kind of happened around the time that they last came into heat, and Tally massively overgroomed her. And since then, she's got just a, a couple of blackheads on her tail. It's completely normal for ferrets to do this. For those of you who've got ferrets, I know it can seem quite dramatic that their tail, it's not actually bald, they've just lost the dark um, colored guard hairs on the top of the tail. Um, sorry, on, on the kind of um, outside of their coat, but it looks really dramatic. Like her tail is super thin compared to Tally's big old, old thick bushy tail. But um, it's completely normal. Uh, just got to uh, use a bit of shampoo to try and help clean it up. But once the winter coat comes in, it'll it'll um, fill back out again. And it's it's actually kind of uh, kind of common for ferrets for this to happen. Yes, I know Tally. It's a camera. Oh, and Tally's gone direct to the source because she's clever. She's smarter than your average ferret. Once again, they are more interested in the boxes than their presents. You scallywags. What's this, ghost? Is it fun? Is it comfy? You're happy? Now that's a wall, sweetie. Hello? <laughs> a little bit of wrestling. Oh, you're such a carriad, Midna. Oh, you are. Oh, okay. Getting away from Siri, I see. Siri's so like, I want to get Midna. Okay, I want to go back. No, I can't decide. Where do you want to go? I'll just stay on my hand. Okay, that's fair enough then. And Hallie is skedaddled. Okay, well, time to find out what is in the last gift. What is in the last gift? Where are you going to, Siri? Thankfully, not at my front, which is a little bit uncomfortable whilst you've got such. Uncut claws. Tally's having a funny five seconds again. That is like the proto stage of a weasel war dance. I'm sure she's continuing it in another part of the room where I'm not filming because I'm a dirt. But the final present for them is this. It's like a little, uh, little, little ball track thing. You can arrange the pieces to, to make different kinds of configurations of the tracks. There's a little glow in the dark ball that runs around. They can bat it through the uh, little holes there. I'm going to get this set up and we're going to see if they can actually keep their attention on one thing for long enough to work out that they can play with it. We will see. Okay then, the ball flashes when it's moving. Let's see if they grab her attention. No, she's decided she's going to go and play with her sister at the door. My goodness, they are distractible today. I guess it's their birthday, so it's okay, but... 
Is anyone gonna come over here? Are you all happy over there instead? Oh no. Here's Tilly Sally. There you go. Moving around. Gotta get to it. <laughs> now she's interested. Can you work out what to do though? We might need Tilly to help you playing with this toy. That'd actually be kind of cute. If I could get a toy that both the ferrets and the cat have to play with for any of them to get enjoyment out of it, that would actually be remarkably fun. And... Have you worked out how it works yet? <laughs> she stops the ball well enough, but batting it around, not so much. Of course, alternatively, she could just try to eat the ball inside the maze. No, nope, wrong place. There you go. You're almost, you're going the wrong way now, sweetie. Wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> Checking in everyone, <laughs> bless her. Where's the, how do I get in the tunnel? I'm a ferret, I'm meant for this. Oh, this is such a tease. I know, sweetie. There you go, it's over there. And the final two gifts then. Got a little, it's kind of a, a little den, really, but it's not quite a den. It's, it's more open top. But you fit very, very snugly in there, don't you, Suki? Only when you're not trying to work out the magic that's going on with your new toy. But you can have that up or down. So uh, depending on which pet wants to use it, you might orient it differently. Or they'll just drag it away, as we saw in the beginning of the video. So there's that one. And then this one is a new igloo. Nice and soft and plushy on the inside. You gonna go in there, Siri? No, no, busy, ferret business to do. But inside this is a deceptively, ridiculously huge blanket that is being lovingly, lovingly woven or knitted, knitted, I think, for uh, the ferret by Carly. Let's get all of this out, oh my lord. It's gonna be hard for you to get a perspective of just how ridiculously huge this is, but this would easily be big enough for me. If I just wanted to like curl up on the couch and have the ferrets just all scurrying over me, possibly hiding in the blanket with me while I'm watching Netflix or something, then this is a very real possibility. I'm gonna need a bit more space to lay this out so you can actually see what's written on it, so give me a moment. Okay, super hard to read this bit, says Siri. It's got Midna across the top. We've got Tally down the side. We've got, uh, I don't bang into my couch, Dapper along the bottom. And it reads, happy second, <laughs> hello sweetie, birthday. And then at the bottom, two things. Okay, you want to come up for cuddles, all right. It's such a cute blanket. Must have taken so long to make them. Very, very thankful. You're gonna enjoy this, aren't you? Your sister chilling out. She's just she's just cleaning herself. Just relaxing. After a hard days playing with all of your new toys. Must be exhausting being a fat. You can come groom me too. Okay, thank you. Well, I think this is definitely a hit. Tally has been scarcely able to tear herself away from this little glowy, flashy ball since she started playing with it. She doesn't even want to go on blanket rides, which for Tally is so far out of character, I would, in normal circumstances, think she'd be replaced with another ferret. And yeah, we'll find the girls after a few hours of playing with their new toys and the, the massive blanket that Carly made. Being used as a bit of a blackout blind for you. Hello, sorry for the flashes of the light in this room. It's terrible, it flickers so much. Oh, Siri. Oh, you beautiful girl. There you go. So yeah, this is gonna be the end of the video here. I thought I'd just uh, show you them kind of curled up though I've woken them up now. I'm such a scallywag, really. You coming up here, sweetie? You coming up to say hello? And get, get a bright light in your eyes? Oh, sorry. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. 
As ever, you can leave any comments down below. I'm always happy to answer any kind of uh, questions about the ferrets or, or any pets, really, if, as long as I know. But uh, I know quite a few of the daplings at the moment have got uh, ferrets. And uh, a couple of people have been in touch with me through emails just to ask about things like feeding and those sort of things. I'm always happy to answer any questions like that that I can. And if I can't, I usually know a place where you can find better answers. But that's going to be it from us. So uh, thank you very much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed. And we will hopefully see you again in another ferret cam in the not too distant future. Have a fun day with her. I think she is. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.